All right, so we're back. That's the finished baby. So I have it all back together except for the cover. And the uh, liquid you can see on there is dish soap. That's the easiest way to put the impella back in, coat it all with dish soap, it slides right in. And I did get some emery cloth to uh, just buff out the inside of the impeller housing. It was in pretty good shape anyway, but I did it without uh, any question. The only thing left now is uh, two of these holes are a little funky, and I'm going to go get uh, some taps tomorrow and just tap out the uh, threads. Um, and th then it's done. Put it back in the boat, turn it on, and test it out. And while I was in the boat, I decided to go a little step further and pull off the pulleys. So I can get those all cleaned up and painted. So I guess after a number of years, they're going to look pretty crappy. So anyway, the pump's looking good. Look at the difference between uh, old and new. I love it. All right. Mike with the F29 formula. Tuning out. Okay. <clears throat> Mike back with the finished Volvo Penta freshwater seawater pump. Model number 857451. Uh, it's all back together. It spins fine. Uh, two of the uh, holes were a little funky, so I had to go out and get a tap. I bought a set from Lowy's for $25, and it is the 5 millimeter dash 0 0.80 thread pattern on these four bolt holes. Uh, so anyway, I will put it back in the boat and let everybody know how it's going. And today's project is we're going back to finishing the pulleys. In any event, the finished water pump. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Mike with the F29 formula. Have a great day.